to set up the ETX90, um, put the tripod together uh, with the uh, little shelf in here and have it arranged so that you've got, so that it adjusts like this. Okay, so you've got the adjusting bar just at the back and that is effectively the south side and this is the north side. So the one, the leg opposite is the north side and it's where the plate tips towards. Okay, so make it nice and flat, that makes the next bit a little bit easier. Um, we take the telescope and we plonk it on top. Okay, and then we put it pretty much in the middle. We try and locate the screws in the bottom. It can be a bit fiddly, this bit. Okay, so you screw it into place underneath, having located those two into the hole below. There's one doing up. And because the way you've placed this is, remember this is the north side of the telescope, then this is the west side. We have the control panel actually on the west side. So that's the only orientation you need to do. Although you want this side on the west, this side on the west. So that's the north, this is north leg, and that's the west. So I'll finish doing up these screws. Just the two. Okay, there are two ways to stop it moving, this telescope. One, and they're called clutches. You've got this one that stops it going from left and right. So I'm gonna push it around to this side, and so it spins. Okay, and what I wanna do, and you've got this one that spins it up and down. So this one spins it. This is the clutch for the up and down spinning. So take it down and so it's pretty much pointing vertical. Okay, and I've spun it round all anti-clockwise so it's locked. Okay. What I want to do is just spin it round now so that it's lined up pretty much with that north leg. So the bottom of the telescope lined up with the north leg and then I'm just going to lock it in position. Okay, and then I come around to this adjuster and it's got angles of latitude all the way along here. So I move it up to 51 degrees. So we find 51 degrees, it's about 50 there. Move it down a little bit. It doesn't have to be hyper accurate. That's it. The telescope now looks like that. Right. So now we take this out into the garden, or you could have set it up in the garden, and I need to point this leg towards the pole star, okay, towards magnetic north, uh, well, actually true north technically. Um, and so we use a compass. Alternatively, this telescope will be pointing at the north celestial pole or Polaris. Okay, so you can just plonk this on the patio, so that's pointing um, towards uh, the North Star. Okay, and that's the basic setup for this polar align. You then can take the controller, which we've got here, and switch on the power, which is still on the west side. Everything's still on the west side. So, oh, there's the power, I'll switch that on. Get a nice light. Okay, so we've got the controller on. Let's see if we can get a focus. So it comes up with the day. In case it's the 1st of March today, so I'm going to do 01, which is the up and down button to change that. So change it to January. So on the down button twice, March. Okay, it asks me the time 19. 45, enter, daylight saving, currently no, but in a few weeks it will. And it's asking me to want to do an easy align, which is going to pick two stars for me to align against. Now, because I've pointed this star, this telescope towards North Celestial Pole, then yes, I'm going to do that. Hit go. And it's going to, to remind me about making sure this telescope is in this position. Well, we've already set it there, so I'm going to go OK on that one. It's going to pick its first star. It's going to move to it.
Now, see the guide scope there? So before you've done any more setting up, you would have made sure that's aligned to the main telescope. You can do that during the day, pointing at a distant uh, object. So it'll now be pointing, make sure you take the lens cap off, it'll now be pointing when it finishes going around at that first star it chose, in this case it chose Capella. So it's moved into position. Make sure you've popped an eyepiece in here. So I would choose, if I had a 25 or a 10 to choose from, I always choose the bigger one, so a 25 millimeter eyepiece in there. Great, okay. And so come down here, I'd, let's say it was a little bit to the left or right, so I'd use my little moves up, down, left and right to get it into the center. If I wanted the, the telescope to move a bit quicker, I could change the rate just by pressing a number and now it'll move a bit more when I press the button. Okay, I want to fine adjust, so I'll go down to five, left a bit, right a bit, and that's it, it's on Capella now. I'm looking through the main eyepiece of the telescope. And that's going to go to the next star, Poseidon. Okay, so there it's moved around. It thinks it's pointing at Poseidon now. So again, we'll look through the main telescope. If it's not in the main telescope, you might need to look through the finder, just and then do a little bit of left and right until it, you can see it in the finder. Then look through the main telescope, and then make get the star into the middle, and then finally press enter. And that's your telescope aligned for the night. So I can hit object, it'll tell me solar system, yeah, I'm interested in the solar system. And then I get to choose up and down in the controller what objects I want to see. So if I want to see the moon, I've selected the moon, hit enter, tell me the position of the moon, and I just hit go to. And that'll be pointing at the moon. That's all it is. Hopefully, we'll see you right.